Okay, is he okay? okay. All right, all right. Okay. Take a deep breath. Just calm down. Which cubicle is he in? I have to see him. No, he's in radiology. Okay. He's getting a cat scan. All right, I'm going to go up and no, see him. No, Sam, Sam, you're not minutes, going please. anywhere. He's unconscious. He's been that way since he got here. Now, Patrick is evaluating the extent of his injuries. Oh, no. That's what they say when it's... Really bad, isn't well, it? We're gonna know more when we get the test results. Yeah, they say that too. Look, what, will you tell me what he was doing out in weather like this? Well, Carly had an emergency, and of course it was up to Jason to fix it. Jason hates hospitals. He's probably gonna wake up while they're in the middle of doing tests and wonder why he's here. And he's gonna wake up hungry. He hasn't even had dinner he's yet. He's really, really strong. He's been amazing doctors for years. Yeah, I know. It it scares me, though, how he minimizes his pain. It's like if if he doesn't feel it, then it's not there. You've been very good for him. Yeah, I would say that goes the other way around. No. No, no, unfortunately. Uh... You accept him for exactly who he is, and I have never been able to master that. He was really glad that you showed up the other day with that picture when he was a little kid. Maybe he didn't tell you, but he really was. Well, losing Jake put a lot of things in perspective. Yeah. We are not going to lose Jason, however. He's going to make it through. I have no doubt. Because I can't have any doubt. Okay, then I can't either. Will you just tell me what the hell he was doing speeding on a road in a rainstorm? Carly had an emergency. Well, Carly's life is an emergency. Yes, I know, and I don't know why she can't ever take care of things herself. I don't know why she has to always look to everybody else to handle her problems. I mean, it, 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 especially Jason. I mean, and Sonny. Well, Sonny? Why didn't she call Sonny first this time? Sam! Sam! How's Jason? We have no idea. Are you proud of yourself? Did you hear anything Jason and I told you about barging in on us? About respecting the fact that he actually has a life of his own? You asked me to be selective, and I was. No, we asked you to act like an adult. And I did. We were in the middle of a really important dinner and you didn't seem to notice. I'm sorry, I thought the welfare of my daughter seemed a little more important than bok choy and beer. Maybe it was a, a, about a little bit more than that, Carly. Maybe it was because Jason and I were celebrating something that had absolutely nothing to do with you. We asked you to respect our relationship. My it's... daughter could be missing, okay? That's really important, Sam. Really, have you seen Jax? No. No. Has he called you or threatened you in no, any way? No, no. How do you even know that he's back? You know what? I don't have to explain anything to you. And I didn't have to explain to Jason because he believes but, me. But why do you have to call Jason? Can't you call somebody else? Wait a minute. Sorry. No, you can't do that because that would take consideration and you don't have that. You barge in whenever you feel like it. I didn't force Jason to leave with me. He can't say no to you, Carly. And you can't stand that. Oh, no. This had nothing to do with him choosing you over me. You used Jake to get him to go with you. You had the gall to guilt him about his dead son. No. To get him to Jason go with Jason loves you. Jocelyn. What about the boundaries we set, Carly? As adults. Boundaries? My daughter could be missing. I think that trumps your boundaries, Sam. Do you have any idea what it did to Jason to think that there's a possibility that a child could have been kidnapped right after losing Jake? Are you even sure that Jocelyn isn't at home, sound asleep in bed right now? Did you even go home before you went crying to Jason? Like you went crying to Sonny because you were afraid to lose that custody suit. Look what that did. Look at what you're doing now. I didn't go to Sonny, and I cannot be held responsible for what he does. Oh, no, of course not. Carly could never be held responsible. You use other people's pain to get what you want. You've been doing it for years. And now Jason is hurt again. You're blaming me for this? <gasps> You are damn right I'm blaming you. Sam, I didn't cause the accident. I pray with everything I have that Jason's gonna be okay. But Jocelyn could be missing right now. Could be. Might. Might be. 
why don't you admit that this little crisis of yours was your way to stake some sort of a claim into Jason because you feel like you're losing ground with him? This isn't about you, Carly. You always think it's about you. I don't no expect exceptions. you to understand. You have no idea what it's like to lose a kid. So much for acting like an adult, huh? My wrist may be broken, but if you hit me again, I will rip you apart. Do you even get that this has nothing to do with you or your kids? That Jason could be seriously injured right now? I know more about Jason being injured than you will ever understand. Uh, excuse me, but that dubious honor falls to me. You want to compare losses? <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the hell you are. You've been using Jason since the moment you laid eyes on him before you even knew his name. You've expected him to take care of you and your children, no matter what it cost him. And you never, ever give anything back, Carly. You don't even say thank you. You just take and take and keep taking. I love Jason. Well, your kind of love costs You know way what? too much. Don't you underestimate what Jason means to me or what I mean to him. Let me tell you something, I've been in this life a hell of a lot longer than you have, and I'm not going anywhere, no matter how much you want me to. Yeah, well, I hope loving you hasn't cost him his life. How is he? I'm sorry, it's, it's not good. Jason suffered a severe head trauma. That's all you got? I was there, Patrick. I saw the bump on his head. Is he awake? No, he's still unconscious and he's unresponsive. Oh my God. It's just like before. No, it's not. He'll come around. He's gonna come back to us. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Tell him it's gonna be fine. Jason's gonna wake up. Jason has um, suffered a previous head injury. We know his history. What's going on with him now? Because of his history, we're approaching this with as much care as possible. Oh, Patrick, even I know that's medical hedging. What are we dealing with? Severe head trauma, CAT scan. MRI? Ordered, but we can't see anything else. Can you try? I am not gonna make any predictions until I see the scans. Once I can properly diagnose Jason, we'll move forward accordingly. Can we see him? Yes, but it's going to have to be brief. Carly. is your way of getting out of planning that wedding, you can forget it, because there's no way. I'm going through all those binders that Maxie gave us by myself. Jason, I've got this lug nut around my neck saying that we are in this together from now on, no matter what. I'm sure the engagement ring that you picked out for me is beautiful. And when you told me how you found it, you knew it was for me. That made me so happy. Because you know me. Do you know how hard that is to come by? I know how anxious you are to put that ring on my finger, so you better hurry up and come back to me, okay? Do I need to be invisible? You know, to be honest with you, no diamond in the world could mean as much to me as this. Because it stands for joining two parts together forever.
simple and strong. Just like us. Probably go get that wrist checked out. I'll get it checked out when I need to get it checked out. I want to see Jason, and I don't really care what you or Monica have to say about it. For you to blame me for what happened. I was only hoping that Jason could help me find my little girl. It was an accident, Sam. You know, this wasn't my fault. Look, that's actually the furthest thing from my mind right now. It's not all about you, Carly. And I'm not really worried about assigning blame at the moment because it's really not going to change anything. I need to focus on staying strong for Jason so he can get through this, so we can walk down the aisle the way we were supposed to. You're gonna be okay. I know how strong you are, and you've been through a lot more than this over the years. This time it's my fault, though. I'm so sorry that I dragged you out in that storm to help me find Jocelyn. And I wish I could say that it made a difference, but it didn't because she's still missing and I'm still terrified. <sighs> Let's see how much I rely on you. You're unconscious and you're still calming me down. Sam's right. I rely on you too much. You know, she asked me, why does it always have to be Jason, and it... You're all I have. You know, you're the only person that I can really count on. I know you love Sam, Jason, and I'm happy that you're gonna marry her. Well, I'm happy that you're happy. I am. I just, um... Well, you need to know that I'm always gonna need you. You know, I'm always going to be a part of your life. You're stuck with me. I just can't stand the thought that my needing you is what caused all this. I'm sorry, Carly. We're going to have to run more tests and ask you to leave. talking about what do you think I think the resolution of this new scanner is amazing and the guy's in a lot of trouble I hate seeing you like this it brings back too many too many painful memories this family lost you once before and you you were our shining star the best and, and, the, and the brightest of the Quartermains. Until you became the man you are today. Such a tragedy. All, all that potential, all that waste. But, but I, I never lost hope. And, and, I, and I never will. I really thought we were beginning to reconnect because of Michael. We need more time to, to, to be a family again. And I can't lose you for real this time. He'll come back. To all of us. Because hmm. he has to. He's finally promised to make an honest woman out of me. You're engaged? <laughs> yeah. We are. I'm sorry we haven't told you yet. We really haven't told many friends or, or family. Well, not that I'd be on that list anyway. No, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. Jason isn't as dismissive as you think. Come on, I don't think he would have encouraged Michael to go to ELQ. Hmm. 
I'm very happy for you, you know that, and, and, and Lila would be too. Thank you. I am going to take really good care of him. For you and for Lila. <laughs> Even though he's a pretty tough cookie to take care of. <laughs> you know, it's, it's sad, isn't it? That it would take something as horrible as this to bring me such wonderful news. Edward, how is he? He looks so, so peaceful. I haven't seen him like that in I don't know how long, when he was in pre-med. Mm -hmm. yeah. Asleep in his chair in the den having studied half the night. God, I miss that boy. Oh, I'd give anything to have him back. Excuse me. I need a uh, family member to sign a legal document. I need to perform surgery on Jason. It needs to happen now. I discovered a mass at the base of Jason's frontal lobe. I'm not sure what it is yet. Is it a tumor? Let him finish, Carly. Edward, let me get you some water. All right, thank you. We're not sure if it's a tumor, but because of where it's located, it doesn't need immediate attention. Dr. Hunter and I went over Jason's medical records, and we've determined that the mass postdates his previous head injury, but we're not sure if it's a result of what happened tonight. Because the head trauma, there's significant swelling. We want to get Jason into an OR do a biopsy on the mass see what we're dealing with. I have to warn you, there is risk involved. What kind of risks? The mass is in a tricky area. The uh, swelling doesn't make it any easier, but I am confident that I can get in and get the job done. Should you wait for the swelling to go down? Patrick knows what he's talking about, Carly. Yeah, and this is a family decision anyway. Yeah, Jason's like family to me. Like, but he is not your he's family. He's not your family either. Okay. Okay. This isn't okay. about Why don't we not you either? Calm down. Oh, why don't we just calm down? Here, Carly, I think it's time for you to deal with the other family crisis that you have Fine. going on Fine. Can you right please now? keep me posted with whatever's yeah, going you know on? Yeah, what? I'll, I'll actually call you yeah, and keep you know. updated. Monica. I trust your judgment, Patrick. If you think that uh, exploratory procedure is necessary, then you should go ahead I with do. it. Oh, wait a minute, no, hold on. This all sounds a little bit too risky. Shouldn't we wait until the swelling goes down? I mean, that is an option, right? Excuse me, Sam, you just told Carly this is about family. Yeah. Medical authorization is about family, and that's where you don't have any vote. <laughs> I'm his mother. I'm his fiance. You're what? Hmm. No, they're engaged. I, I just found out about it myself. And uh, it's wonderful. Sorry, but I should have some kind of rights, and I want to exercise them. Okay, thank you. 